Now chill the kite brings home the night that Mang the bat sets free. The herds are shut in byre and hut, for loose till dawn are we. This is the hour of pride and power, talon and tush and claw. Oh, hear the call, good hunting all that keep the jungle law. Night Song in the Jungle It was seven o'clock of a very warm evening in the c &E hills, when Father Wolf woke up from his day's rest, scratched himself, yawned, and spread out his paws one after the other to get rid of the sleepy feeling in their tips. Mother Wolf lay with her big gray nose dropped across her four tumbling, squealing cubs, and the moon shone into the mouth of the cave where they all lived. Arr, said Father Wolf, it is time to hunt again. He was going to spring downhill, when a little shadow with a bushy tail crossed the threshold, and whined, Good luck go with you, O chief of the wolves, and good luck and strong white teeth go with the noble children, that they may never forget the hungry in this world. It was the jackal, Tabakwi the dish licker, and the wolves of India despise Tabakwi, because he runs about making mischief and telling tales, and eating rags and pieces of leather from the village rubbish heaps. But they are afraid of him, too, because Tabakwi, more than anyone else in the jungle, is apt to go mad. And then he forgets that he was ever afraid of anyone, and runs through the forest, biting everything in his way. Even the tiger runs and hides when little Tabakwi goes mad, for madness is the most disgraceful thing that can overtake a wild creature. We call it hydrophobia, but they call it Dewani, the madness, and run. Enter then, and look, said Father Wolf stiffly, but there is no food here. For a wolf, no, said Tabakwi, but for so mean a person as myself, a dry bone is a good feast. Who are we, the geeter log, the jackal people, to pick and choose? He scuttled to the back of the cave, where he found the bone of a buck with some meat on it, and sat cracking the end merrily. "'All thanks for this good meal,' he said, licking his lips. "'How beautiful are the noble children! How large are their eyes! And so young, too! Indeed, indeed, I might have remembered that the children of kings are men from the beginning!' Now, Tabakwi knew as well as anyone else that there is nothing so unlucky as to compliment children to their faces. It pleased him to see mother and father wolf look uncomfortable.' 